Good morning, happy Wednesday. Let's get our materials out. At the top, you're writing Wednesday, your name, and the date, which is five slash six slash 20. You're writing number one and number two with a line in the middle. On the back, you're writing three and four with a line in the middle. And then on the last page, you're going to write exit ticket at the top. Okay, let's go to question number one. So you're drawing a box and you're writing answer with a blank line. Okay, so it says Mr. Smith has 18 students in his classroom. He wants to figure out if everyone will have a pair. Does he have an even number of students or an odd number of students? Prove your answer with drawings. So this is something that we've gone over maybe a couple months ago. So I'm gonna refresh your brain. So remember an even number, and you can write this in your box, an even number would be zero, two, four, six, eight. These digits would be in the ones place. That's what you look at to see if a number is even or odd. You look at the ones place. And the odd number would have one, three, five, seven, or nine in the ones place, okay? So keep this written down in your box so you can see if your number is even or odd. Another way to see if this number is even or odd is to make pairs, okay? So this is, I'm gonna walk you through this because this is something a little bit, you know, a refresher from a couple months ago. So let's do, let's count up to 18 and let's make sure that we're giving each student pairs, okay? So let's start from one, two, and I want you to label one and two. And then I want you to draw a box. That way you know that that's a pair. And we're gonna keep counting until we get to all the way up to 18. So three, four. And I want you to copy exactly what I'm doing here. And then we're going to go on this side, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. We still have a little bit more to go. Thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen. And seventeen, eighteen. So will everyone in Mr. Smith's class have a pair? Yes, they, everyone will have a pair. So that also gives us a clue that 18 is an even amount of students, okay? Because everyone has a pair and there's also an eight in the ones place. And if we're looking over here, we can see there's an eight for the even, okay? So our answer, the question says, does he have an even number of students or an odd number of students? We can say, Mr. Smith has an even number of 
students. Okay. So remember, you can use this for your exit ticket because this question is going to be an exit ticket. So I would write this again. That way you can remind yourself if it's even or odd. All right, let's go to question number two. You're writing count up by 25s. Then you're going to write 50 with four blank lines. And then you're putting 175. Below that you're writing 200 with four blank lines and the number 325. Okay, so we're counting up by 25s. You're going to do this first one and then we'll go over it and then we'll do the next one. You can start now. Okay, so if I'm starting from 25s, so I'm just going to count. So 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175. All right, you can try this next one. All right, 200, 225, 250, 275, 300, 325. Okay, it's time for our dance break. <laughs> top you're writing 217 with a circle and then 871 you're going to compare these two numbers then you're going to write a couple lines so that you can explain your answer all right so here's the directions Compare the set of numbers using the correct symbol. So less than, greater than, or equal to. Then explain how you got your answer. So we need to use one of these symbols and you need to draw it inside of your circle. So which one do you think goes inside? I want you to draw it in your circle now. So hopefully you drew this symbol. Remember the alligator mouth is eating the bigger number. So 217 is less 
than 871. Now we have to explain why. How do you know that 871 is bigger? How do we know that? I want you to take a second to think about what you're gonna write. And then I'm going to write my explanation here and I want you to copy that answer. All right, I'm gonna label these. So hundreds, tens, and ones, hundreds, tens, and ones. If I'm looking at the hundreds place, I can already tell which number is bigger because in the hundreds place here, we have the digit two, and in the hundreds place here, we have the digit eight. That should already tell us if it has more hundreds, then it's going to be a bigger number. And that's something that you should explain for your answer. Also, we know that 871 is farther along the number line than 217 would be, okay? So you can say one of those two things. Now, you can't say 871 is bigger and then leave it at that. You have to explain your answer. So I'm actually going to write the number in words. So 800. 71 is bigger than 217 because it has more hundreds. Let's see, how many more hundreds does it have? Well, we have eight here, and there's two hundreds here. So that means it has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has six more hundreds than this does, okay? So 800, 70, one has six more hundreds. Okay. And it's okay if you switch between writing it in words or just writing the number. That doesn't matter. All right. Let's go on to our last question. Question number four. At the top, you're writing 478 plus 56. 478 plus 56. And then you're doing an HTO chart. After you do your HTO chart, you're writing value on the bottom and then a blank line so you can write your answer when you're finished. Okay, directions say find the sum of 478 plus 56. Use the HDO chart oh, to help you solve. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're gonna do that first number here. I'm gonna take it slow. You're gonna draw this out. So we have hundreds, tens, and ones. So draw that out first, and then I'm gonna show you what I drew here. Okay, so HTO, so we have 
four hundreds here. One, two, three, four. We have seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, I like to do it in rows of five so it's easier to count. Okay, so we're done with that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw 56. So we only have tens and ones for this one. All right, so we have five tens. One, two, three, four, five, and then six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're done doing that. Now we have to regroup. I am seeing that I can regroup my ones and my tens, so take the time to regroup now. All right, so I already know I have 10 ones here because five plus five is 10. So I'm gonna circle this, cross it out, and then draw a line over here to make a 10 stick. Okay, now I know I have 10 tens here. Remember, 10 tens equals 100. I'm crossing that out, I'm drawing a line here, and I'm making another 100 on this side. Okay, so we have three tens over here and four ones. All right, now you can take the time to label everything. Okay, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 510, 520, 530, and then we have four here. So put that together and it's 530. Four. That is our value. Okay, everyone, it's time for our exit ticket. On the screen right now, I'm going to show you what you will do for today. We do have two problems. Pause the video now if you need extra time. All right, everyone, have a great Wednesday. Work hard, and don't forget to take breaks when you need them. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.